It's trusting the process, right? It's seeing all these other badass marketers that are sitting right here in front of you that are landing fucking deals left and right. Like Paul Heck, 30 days into prospecting, almost $8,000 a month coming in, right? It's, it's things like that. You can see that and, and you can believe that. You can trust the process. You can see what's happening around you and you can automatically take back your dreams. take that pin or you're going to take back your dreams because that's what she called it. She's like, dude, I finally took back my dreams by being in here, by being surrounded, by being at Bam Jam. Like I took back my dreams. And how was she able to do that? Right? Like that's a question to me. That's a level to me. And I had to go back in my being in my life. I sat in the shower because as you guys know, I was all beat up from F45 up the street. And so I was like in there steam shower, like thinking to myself, like, what did I go through? Like, like, how did I overcome that? And I'm telling you right now, like you can either, you can either do that over time, right? Like, Hey, build one lead gen at a time, build your confidence, right? Like do all that, or you can do it overnight. It's completely your choice. And it's simple. It's trusting the process, right? It's seeing all these other badass marketers that are sitting right here in front of you that are landing fucking deals left and right. Like Paul Heck, 30 days into prospecting, almost $8,000 a month coming in, right? It's, it's things like that. You can see that and, and you can believe that. You can trust the process. You can see what's happening around you and you can automatically take back your dreams. And that's what she was able to do. And it's just amazing hearing her story earlier, like freaking my heart was like, oh. And then at the, the, the second thing I thought of was like, why am I not recording this? This is like fire ass shit right now. Like it was, it was like super good. So I just, I'm here to tell you like no matter what you're going through, you know, other people have been there and the decision is up to you. The decision of whether you're going to do this over time, whether you're going to take little baby steps at it until you start getting that beliefs. Cause I, I know some of you are doing that. Some of you are like, Oh, I'm putting up the lead gen and now I'm adding citation slow and I'm adding link slow. And until I get my first lead, I don't feel comfortable getting out of my own way and going to make money like Paul or going to make money like Nick or going to make money like Sarah Ryan. Like some of you are uncomfortable with that, but it's seriously a decision. It's one decision to trust the process. It's one decision to choose to, to follow the process and trust your brothers and sisters right here in BAM. And it's one decision to change your life and take back your dreams. And so today, that's kind of what I want to talk to, to talk to Sean about because I think you know he he's really big. You guys are about to hear his story a lot like myself, um, but I think a little bit deeper even than that. And so we're gonna dig deep into that. We're gonna talk about how he took back his dreams. And just so you guys know, Sean's obviously in band. Sean helped put in over a hundred of you that are sitting in here with me now. He's put in over a hundred of you. He's had his business go as high as 8,800 a month coming in. So he's been around the block as well, okay? So he's had the ups and downs of being in this business. He's had the ups and downs of impacting others. Probably a lot of you that are sitting on this live have been impacted by him. Um, I know some of you, I, there's a kid um, that me and Sean were just talking about just the other day and I reached out to him. Um, what was his name? Tom, Thomas? Um, well, Th Thomas, and I'm not gonna say his last name in here, but this kid is a straight fucking hustler. This is a, a straight guy who, 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 is a, who is an optimal story around taking back your dreams. This kid came in, barely made his first payment to get in here, guys. Didn't have internet, um, had an old janky computer, sat at fucking McDonald's. He sat at McDonald's every single day after work for a few hours so that he could get in, use their Wi-Fi, get in, learn BAM, learn the six steps, and get out there. And the guy just the other day sold a $3,300 website build, $1,500 a month coming in. And that is taking, taking back the pin. That is taking back your dreams, right? He, ha he, has, he has came in here. He has trusted the process. He has trusted each and every one of you that are in here motivating each and every one of us. And he went out and took that massive imperfect action and got off the basic needs. Because a lot of times, guys, and there's nothing wrong with this, a lot of times when we're living that basic day-to-day -day life, because that's what we come from. That's what we were learned from our parents. I came up in a fucking trailer. Getting the next meal was what we worried about all day. And how the fuck am I supposed to build a dream of landing a $1,500 a month client 
when I'm worried about the next fucking meal I'm gonna put in my kids' mouth, right?